Hey guys, Jax here. This is a very quick tutorial on how to do a fresh, clean, install and wipe and download our mod. So, first thing you're going to do is go into our Ravenhurst News channel. You're going to click the zip that's here for the update or whatever we released to you guys. It'll download the zip to your downloads folder. What you want to do is you want to unzip your download in here. You'll see a folder, Ravenhurst 9 Main. You want to go inside that. You want to grab this mods folder, okay? This one right here, all right? That's the one you're going to be focused on. We're not going to grab it just yet, but you have it downloaded and, and set in there. So, to fully wipe your game, and I realize this may not be possible for some because you may have other game saves, other mods you play, things like that. So, you're going to have to be careful when you do this if you do have that. You want to go into your app data folder and your roaming folder and your seven days to die folder. And here is all your saves and stuff. So what you want to get rid of in order to do a clean wipe is you want to get rid of the saves folder. Or if you have saves from some other stuff, go in here and select every delete. So what I always do is I just take all of this. because These are my test stuff for Ravenhurst. And I usually test on Navisgain sometimes. I want a fresh wipe. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take all of it. I'm just going to delete it all. Those are all your saves. Your, pro your profile is going to be gone. Anything attached to your profile will be gone, like buffs, stuff like that. Sometimes that stuff does save. You want to go back out. Your saves local folder is like your servers. If you download maps from servers, if you play on a server, normally you don't have to touch this, but you can if you want to do a complete wipe. That's up to you. And then you want to do title storage as well. This is like Twitch stuff, um, the caches, the news stuff, all of that. That's that'll All this will get regenerated. When you start the game. So that's how you delete your saves and your profiles. Now, the trick here is when you go to delete 7 Days to Die itself, you'll go in here and normally you'll just right click and you'll uninstall. Alright? That's fine. Uninstall it if you want. Like that. You have to do it anyway. But if you open up your local folder, sometimes if you've played, if you don't move your 7 Days, copy it to a new folder to play your mods out of anything you play that you put in here stays in here you see i have a mods folder in here already this is from when i was developing my own core this is the steam vanilla folder if i uninstall seven days to die this way that folder will stay in there the mods folder will not be deleted so in order to successfully delete seven days to die completely so that there are no conflicts you're going to want to just right-click the entire 7 Days to Die folder here and just delete it. And then go into Steam, uninstall as well, because it'll get rid of any residuals, and then reinstall it. Now, what I do for my mod and other mods, because I don't like conflicts, I want to make sure everything is separated, is once that's done installing, I'll take 7 Days to Die itself and I'll copy it to somewhere else. Anywhere you want, really, is fine. For me, I'll just put it on my desktop somewhere. So we'll make a new folder. You know, I'll just make a folder called Ravenhurst. And I'll copy 7 Days to Die directly into there. Or you can call it whatever you want. And you can put it wherever you want. And we'll paste it in there. Oh, Sorry, guys. Alright, and we'll paste it in there. So it'll copy the entire game in there. When you go and play Ravenhurst, you'll just run it from inside here. Now, it's copying my mods folder in there because I did not install or do a full deletion because I can't. I'm coding something right now. Um, but normally, you'll have your folder in there. Then what you'll do is you'll go into your downloads, right? your unzips file, you right-click the mods folder, you copy that mods folder, and then you go back into where you copied that new copy of Ravenhurst. That's the new copy of 7 Days to Die. Go in there and paste it right in the main folder there. Let it finish, and you'll have a very clean, brand new install, and you can start 7 Days to Die from this folder. You don't have to start it in Steam. You can start it directly from inside that folder, and you'll be able to play Ravenhurst. You can do this for other mods as well. So if you want to have a Darkness Falls folder, if you want to have a Walkers folder, an Undead Legacy folder, and a Ravenhurst folder, that can be done. Just make your, your take your vanilla copy, your fresh vanilla copy, copy that folder onto your desktop or somewhere else and then you could rename it to whatever you want 
Ravenhurst on Dead Legacy and then drop your mods folders or whatever into those individual folders and start your game from inside those folders. And that's how you do a fresh, clean install. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope that that was at least somewhat clear.